Hello, everyone. Once again, my name is Tamarin Johnson. Yes, yes, like the fruit. And I'm presenting my work, which is a population density study on lizard species found at the Leon Levy Native Plant Preserve in Eleuthera. According to different sources, the Bahamas has 22 to 25 different lizard species and subspecies and non-endemic lizard species, such as iguanas, blue-tailed lizards, curly-tailed lizards, and anoles, which are my personal favorite. The main purpose for my study, I just wanted to assess the overall population at the preserve, but I also have some other objectives, such as assessing which locations had the most lizard species, which species was the most dominant, and of course, if the, there are more females than males, and if there are any environmental or anthropogenic factors that may have affect the current lizard population. Before I began my study, we, we had a lecturer for a week. His name is Joe Wasilewski. He's a wildlife biologist. He instructed me to like, set out some few rules, ground rules for myself. So I chose three different locations at the preserve that were diverse and that had different plant species along with different lizard species. Then, he assisted me in constructing three different permanent temporary plots, which were 10 by 10 meter plots, so that when I started to observe my lizards, I know which area I was going in, I know which size plot I was going in, and which order I should be observing. So when I went to the first site, which is, which is Souvenir's Trail, that was our first site, I initially just mapped over which lizard species I initially saw. And then the second site, which was the palm forest, the third site was an altered site on the preserve. So for about 10 different, for about 10 days, I went out in different climates and different times, and I observed the lizards that I saw, I observed the sex, I observed which, which area had the most lizards, and then I was able to tabulate some of my data which was the, this is the first table, which is results of number of lizards versus location of lizards, I mean, location of plots. So as you can see, day one had the most lizards that I observed. When I began the study, I was so sure that I knew everything on lizard. There was nothing that I didn't know until I came across this species and I looked at the species and I said, I do not know what this is. This is not what I thought it was. We went home, did some research, had to throw out four days worth of data collection because it was a different species. Souvenir's Trail led the way. It had the most lizard species, which was 67. It also had the most diverse lizard species. Um, I observed, I physically captured four different lizard species, but overall I observed 147 lizards. Out of the 147, uh, each day I saw Anola sagri species such as Anola sagrii and Anola sagrii arenatus, whereas the, at the beginning of my study I only observed, I observed Amoeba aubrii and Anolis augustaceps. At the end of my research, the most, abund the most abundant lizard that I observed was Anolis sagrii arenatus, which was one of the species that I actually, missed, that I actually mixed up. I observed that weather and time affected the amount of lizard species that I observed and that it played an important role. And the location also played an important role the, because the altered site, which had the least plant corpus, had the least amount of lizard species. Then my next task was to create a table constructing females versus males. And each day I noticed that females and males were tied, whereas I initially thought females were gonna win it. But by the, end of my, well, by the end of my study, I learned that there were actually more males. And the, one of the reasons that is, is because the location that I was observing and the sites. At the outer sites, I would only see species, I would only see males, I wouldn't really see females. And then I also had other observations like the one you see here, that was a lizard actually stealing a wasp prey. He got stung in the process, and he was incapacitated for a few minutes trying to steal this wasp food. 
other observations would have been there, I, the 40 lizards that I actually captured, they defecated on me, and all 40 defecated on me. I noticed that some of the males would change color on me, so that was something new for me. Other experience would be when I was going to capture the lizard, I had it in my grasp, and it just jumped out of my hand. And a very new experience for me doing this study was observing two lizards mating in the open for everyone to see. <laughs> they actually made it for longer than what I expected. And, <laughs> and sad to say, I actually broke them up. <laughs> other things I observed would be the way they, were, the way they re interact with other species. I also interrupted a snake about to eat a lizard, which was fun but sad at the same time. And that's the end of my presentation. I would like to thank all of the individuals sponsoring, um, responsible for allowing me to be a part of this internship, especially Dr. Ethan Freed and Fallon Cartwright.